Hey, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to become a full-time trader, how I personally became a full-time trader, kind of like the thresholds that I would follow before making the full-time leap. And, you know, maybe you're, you're profitable now or you have a losing month and then a winning month and you're kind of in and out. You're kind of in that break-even stage and you're just wondering, hey, when can I go all in on this? Um, this video is for you, so you'll want to stick around all the way to the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it and subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, uh, market updates on all the trades I'm in and also some educational content on how to become a more profitable trader. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Basically, what I did was I fo first focused on being able to cover living expenses and this kind of revolves around having a big enough account size. So even if you are profitable already, you want to make sure you at least have a big enough account size that you can have regular profits and combined with that, a cushion in case you do have that drawdown because with trading, you can have a losing month. So if you're just living paycheck to paycheck and you're really expecting to pull out like two to 4,000 every two weeks, like a job, um, it's kind of unrealistic if you don't already have that nest egg where you can rely on for at least six to 12 months. So first tip I would say is at least have six to 12 months of living expenses already outside of your trading account. If you don't have that, then you're gonna be forced to be taking setups that are suboptimal because you wanna make money to live and that's just not a place you wanna be in, trust me. Um, I personally had over $100,000 in cash on the side before I even thought about going uh, full-time with trading because you know I, I could live for a couple years without having to worry about making any trading profits. So. I would first say six to 12 months in living expenses, figure out what that is for you. Maybe it's 4,000 a month, which is about, you know, anywhere from 25,000 to $50,000 for six to 12 months. Once you have that and you have your trading account, then move on to the second step where you would want to make sure that you've been at least profitable for six months. Basically over the last six months, have you been profitable? And on top of that, make sure that you didn't have any huge losses that could wipe out multiple months of profits because I was in that stage for a while where I'd be really profitable, but then, you know, just, just about like 12 to 18 months ago, I'd be really profitable, but then I would have like a $50,000 loss because I bag held a trade over weeks and months past my stop loss. I basically ignored my stop loss and I would hold the trade because I would think it would come back and then I'd eventually have to cut it because it would blow my entire account if I kept holding it. And then I would lock in like a $50,000 loss when most of my trades would be $5,000 or $10,000 gains. And that one fifty k loss would just be a full month of profits gone. You know, you have to wait until you've gotten past that phase where you're disciplined enough to cut your loss because you could think, you know, hey, I'm a full-time trader, I'm, I'm profitable, but you don't have the discipline to cut those losses. If you still have one of those those losses here and there where you hold it way past your stop loss, then don't go full-time yet because if you go full-time trading and you have one of those trades and you bag hold it, you think, no, no, it's going to come back. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. And then you do take it. That is going to be so emotionally heartbreaking and very hard to come back from because you'll be in such a big hole. Trust me. Like I, I had, you know, it's been dark times. I had a lot of those trades and it took a long time for me to get to the phase where I now cut the losses. And if you, you're profitable and you're holding through that and that's your only source of income or your main source of income is trading and you suffer one of those blows, uh, it's very hard to come back from. So don't go full time as a second tip. Don't go full time until you're past that and you have the discipline to stick to your stop loss and make sure you keep your losses small. If you have that discipline and you've been profitable for six months in a row, that's the second step of where I'd say, hey, you can go ahead and you can become a full time trader. Uh, the third step now is like I said, with a big enough account size, make sure that you have enough money from trading now to pay for bills and living expenses. So if you know your living expenses are, are 4,000 a month or 5,000 a month, you know, over those six months you were profitable, was it averaging much more than four or 5,000 a month? You don't want to go full time until that trading income is about double of what your living expenses are. Because like I said, there are going to be a full month of losses. And that'll really throw you off if you're just making enough from trading to cover bills. So if you know that your living expenses are 5,000 a month, over that six month period, were you making 10,000 a month? 
for each of those months? If so, boom, that's the next step. And I would say, hey, you're ready to become a full-time trader. The fourth thing I would say that I would personally need to go full-time trading is a profitable trading strategy. And this is obviously a given, but when I say a profitable trading strategy, I mean proof of a profitable trading strategy. I mean the back testing done, I mean knowing the win rates, knowing the risk and the reward and, and how often you're profitable, you know, situations and circumstances when not to use a strategy, situations and circumstances when the strategy works its best, knowing all these things by back testing. So not just trading and saying, hey, I'm profitable over this time period, but having a proven strategy or multiple strategies, but you know, at least one or two proven strategies with lots of back testing, uh, months and months or years of back testing and knowing the ins and outs of the win rates and the loss rate, rate and the times the system works the best and the times the system works the worst and knowing when to avoid news, all these things based around a tr profitable trading strategy. So if that's all laid out in the numbers are there, not just, you know, going by feel, then okay, you're good to move on to the next step because it's not like, uh, it's not like luck or feel. Uh, there's actually uh, numbers behind this where yeah, this strategy does work and it's worked over a, a very long period of time. And it's not just one strategy, maybe it's two strategies just in case one starts working worse because you know, no trading strategy works the same over time. They can become worse over time or better in specific circumstances and, and specific trade environments. The fifth and final is very important. It's having a specific trading plan written out all of your rules that you will follow and a proper trading journal and a system for journaling all your trading. I personally use Tradezella for my trade journal. I uh, highly recommend it. It's uh, created by Umar Ashraf. He's an extremely uh, profitable trader, uh, very good guy. So I highly suggest you use Tradezella if you're not already. Uh, basically, I write down you know, my pre-market analysis, my post-market analysis, what I learned every single day. I wrote down all these things that I journal what's in my mind. And I also have a trading plan that I follow, all the rules laid out, uh, let's say, you know, max number of trades per day, uh, times of day that I'm going to trade. I'm not going to trade outside these times. I'm not going to take more than this many amount of trades. I'm not going to risk this more than this amount of dollars. Having all of these rules laid out, you know, not trading around news, reading the news every single day before the market opens. These are all rituals and, and rules to follow. And if you are following these rules and you do have a trading plan listed out and you're also using a trading journal, you write down your emotions every day. You write down what was in your head. If you do all these things and treat it like a business, then you're ready to become a profitable trader if you've been doing that for at least six months. Go back, watch this video a couple times, just really solidify these five things. I personally believe that if I didn't do these five things, then there was no way I'd be confident in making the leap to be a full-time trader. And because I have, I am way more confident in my strategies, my trading plan, my ability, because I've been in dark places, I've come out of those dark places, I have the safety net, I have the proven strategies that I've back tested, I have the trading plan, I've worked on mastering my emotions, I have the belief in myself because of mastering my emotions, and I have the trading journal and system. All these things build the confidence because I have the proof and the evidence of working through these things to become more and more consistent and disciplined and profitable. And since I put the work in over years, I can then make the leap and I have the results to back that up. So I just think that it's not wise to make the leap if you haven't followed these five things. Um, if you do appreciate this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's me know you love these type of videos. Thanks so much for the support. I, I really appreciate you guys. And make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this. Look out for my next video coming out Wednesday night on the market update. We'll see where, we, where we're at. Happy trading and I'll see you in the next video.